What is a hydraulic top link and how does it work? Hi everyone, I'm Rachel and in this video I'll tell you all you need to know about hydraulic top links and five things to consider when choosing the right one for you. Top links are commonly used in the agricultural sector. We see manual top links a lot in crop harvesters, trailers, spreaders, loaders, wood splitters and planters. However, tractor attachment systems will more commonly use hydraulic top links. More on that later. Long story short, they're everywhere, so it's helpful to know what they are and how they work. What are you planning to use your hydraulic top link for? Let me know in the comments below. It will be great to hear what brought you to this video. Together with two lower links, the top link forms a triangle. We call this the three-point linkage, where the lower links support your equipment, such as plows, loader buckets, and so on, and the top link provides a tilting action by either expanding or retracting. This angles your equipment, helps with alignment, and gives you a smoother ride. And it can transfer some of the weight of your equipment to your tractor. So how do they work exactly? Stay tuned, as I'll have a look at each of the components of a top link. And before we go ahead, subscribe to the Cramp channel and turn on notifications to stay up to date on all of our informative videos. In general, Hydraulic top links consist of the following parts. There is the top link pin, the cylinder, the rod, the retract port, the extend port, and the ends. By allowing hydraulic fluid to enter and leave the system, you allow the rod to move either up or down inside the cylinder, tilting or angling your equipment. There are many different kinds of ends, all with their own characteristics. The end of the cylinder that connects to the tractor will usually be a ball end. Now, on the other side of the cylinder, on the machine side, you'll usually find a quick attach hook. They're ideal for swiftly connecting and disconnecting different types of equipment. So, how do you find the right hydraulic top link? There are five things you'll want to take into consideration. Number one, horsepower or kilowatt, KW. The more powerful the tractor and the bigger and heavier the implement, the stronger your top link needs to be in order to withstand all that force. For most smaller tractors, a top link with bore size 50 millimeters is enough. Bore is the word that we use to describe the diameter of a cylinder. For tractors with more horsepower, you might need a top link with bore size 63, 70, or even as much as 90 or 120 millimeters. Number two, what kind of bracket do you have on the tractor side? The bracket is the attachment point for the top link, which is the connection between tractor and attachment. So its size needs to match the size of the top link. If you choose a hydraulic top link with a bore diameter that's too big for the tractor side bracket, the top link might get damaged. If the top link is going to sit in a bracket with just one single position, a simple ball end will usually suffice. Some farmers use a swivel link, which allows them to have greater flexibility since it works in multiple positions. Sometimes you'll find vertically longer brackets with bore holes at several different heights. A ball end attachment is not suitable for this type, as the cylinder might get pushed up against the bracket, in which case it'll get damaged. Another option is the swivel end on a fork head top link, which adds extra length to the top link, taking the hydraulic cylinder further away from the bracket. This means that you have freedom of movement and no risk of crushing the hydraulic cylinder against the tractor side bracket. The downside is that the fork head reduces the length of the top link cylinder, diminishing your working range. Factor number three, the type of bracket on the machine side. If it's a bracket with cross connections, the top link's freedom of movement will be limited, in which case it's better to use a ball end attachment. If the bracket has no cross connections, you can use a hook attachment. Number four, the mounting diameter of the top link pin at the tractor and machine sides. 
The most standard dimensions are 19 millimeters, which is category one. 25 millimeters are category two, 32 millimeters, which is category three, and 45 millimeters, a category four. Make sure the diameter matches to allow for quick and easy mounting and dismounting of your machinery. And the final thing to consider, do you need a check valve? Some hydraulic top links are equipped with non-return valves, which lock the length you've chosen to ensure that it doesn't slip, even if it's left in a position for a long period of time. By the way, to learn more about another type of valve, that is diverter valves, check out this video. In conclusion, top links are mighty useful, so it's important to understand how they work and what the various components are. And if you want to find the proper hydraulic top link for your application, take into consideration the five factors just discussed. Horsepower or kilowatt, the bracket on the tractor side, the one on the machine side, the top link pin's mounting diameter, and the check valve. All right, that's all for now. If you want to learn more on hydraulic top links, check out this nifty article by Cramp. Just click here to learn more. We have several other videos for you, so hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Until next time.